Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and I'm up kind of late experimenting with an idea that I had earlier today. Um, I was thinking, why can't I take any printable insert, print it on my laser printer, and foil it? And the main reason I thought of this was because I wanted to do a blackout spread, but I don't necessarily want to use stencils. And I don't really want to buy another notebook because you can get the blackout paper with the dot grid and the grid on the paper. It's kind of light gray so that you can see it. But I didn't want to do all that. I already have a pack of black paper, so I wanted to use what I have. So I thought that maybe making my own inserts with black paper would be the way to go. But how can I get the ink to show up on the black paper? Well, how about I foil the paper which is why I ran it through my laser printer okay so I've rambled enough to begin with I want to just show you this before I show you how it turned out I have some inserts in my shop that are classic half sheets they had lines for each day so that, you know guidelines so that you can write on the lines I removed those lines and darkened the lines that break the days apart on the insert and I don't know if that's coming through on the camera or not but you can kind of see where it printed with the toner on the black paper and this is text weight paper this is not cardstock so I just printed it on the black paper then I had some white foil because I was thinking of doing a blackout spread and usually you use white gel ink so I thought the white foil would complement a blackout spread so I used the foil I layered it over the paper and I've shown how to foil with a laminator before I'll link to that video in the info in the little eye up above and I'll put a link in the description box below so I put the foil on and then I kind of encased it in just some regular copy paper to protect my laminator and the foil and I sandwiched it and ran it through and when it came out this is what I got and if you watch my stories on Instagram, you probably saw me do this in pretty much real time. So then I can actually trim this up and put it in my Fobonichi and use it for blackout planning. And it's ready to go. I don't have to worry about drawing in my lines or anything. And you can do this with any printable insert as long as you print it using a laser printer. This doesn't work with an inkjet printer. It has to be laser. It has to be toner because the foil reacts to the toner when it's heated and that's why I use the laminator I mean you could use your Heidi Swap I think her machine is called the Mink that does the foiling but I mean the laminator does it too so I'll just use my laminator <laughs> so then I decided to go ahead and try with an actual metallic foil so I used this holographic foil and I think I'm going to do a gold one too so and I just took it out of the laminator before I decided to jump on and do a video and this stuck because I put a piece of washi tape on here that's probably not a good idea to do there we go but I just wanted to make sure that the foil did not slip and slide going through okay and then you can keep this let me take this washi off I will keep the foil even though it's used in between the days when well, maybe it shows up better in between you still have plenty of foil that can be used for something else so this needs should be kept and used again and I guess using the washi tape probably isn't the best idea it might just be that this is really cheap washi tape it's not really good washi tape anyway so this is how it turns out I think I like the white better um, the holographic the colors make it kind of I don't know it's, it's cute it works I guess it would depend on the stickers but I'm just envisioning a blackout spread with this I don't know how I would decorate or work with this so that would be a challenge but again see it works now let's do one together 
I have this already printed on the black paper. And I have this rose. No, let's. Yeah, I'm just using the foils that I have open. So I'm going to use this rose gold foil. And I'm just going to kind of line this up on here. Flip it over. I should probably just cut it with a blade. I'm just going to use the scissors and try to cut it neatly. This is another reason why I had it taped to kind of hold it in place. But maybe if I can clip it, that'll help. Let's put the paper clip on. Hopefully you won't mess up the foil too much. Okay. And then let's fold this over and give us a crease to follow. That'll make it easier to cut as well. So I can make sure I'm not cutting the paper that's underneath. And cut on the crease. Put it back in the box for now. Is this the right one? Yeah. Okay. So then, let's take this off. I'm going to scoot it down so it's only covering where the toner is as much as possible. I'm trying to not waste any. <laughs> So and then I'm going to fold where I want to cut it at the bottom. And then trim that piece off. And, and I do have some free inserts in my shop if you want to try this out just to see how it goes before you buy inserts to do this. So I'm just going to line that up and I'm going to try the washi tape one more time because I do like um, having this lined up as and stable in place as possible. So I just put minimal washi on the paper and more of it on the foil side of things just enough washi on the edge to hold it down hold it in place so it's not slipping and sliding and if it sticks to the copy paper that's fine I just don't want it sticking to my laminator so then I'm going to just sandwich this in between these two tear that off sandwich that in between these two make sure that there is no foil hanging out because we don't want it stuck on the laminator. And let's see, I'm going to move that over just a tad bit. Move this over just a tad bit. And I'm going to put another piece on it just to make sure that the edges are completely covered. Looks good. So now I'm just going to run this sandwich through. get everything straight <laughs> run it through and I have this on the hot setting um, I have a scotch I don't use it that much to remember if it has a low and a high but I have it I always use it on high with well, this one on high so yeah you can save these pieces And you can wrap these back around. You can put them on the inside of the tube. Um, I think I like wrapping it back around and maybe sealing it with a piece of washi, holding it in place. That way when you take it out, that piece doesn't come flying out of the center. I'll work with those when I finish. 
Okay. So I ran it through one time. Let's take our paper off. Oops. So yeah, the reason why that washi stuck to the paper is probably because of the type of washi it is. So I'm going to take this washi off carefully. Remember, just minimal amount on your paper because you don't want the washi to rip your paper. And I'm not sure what the heat will does to the adhesive on the washi as far as how it reacts to the paper. So, And then we just peel this off. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. So now we have a rose gold. Let's see if I can catch the light rose gold inserts all I have to do is trim that up and put it in my notebook wow look at that okay so that is how you can foil any printable insert yourself if you have any comments or questions please leave them below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye Guess what I'm about to do? So I made an adjustment to my um, classic half sheet horizontal printable inserts and I took the lines out of each day and I darkened the lines that divide them and I'm really surprised that you can see this. I don't know if you can see it on your end but I can see where everything printed. I printed this on my laser printer I tried it earlier today just printing some grid paper on my dot I mean I, I tried printing the dot grid paper on my inkjet printer earlier today and I couldn't see anything but the laser actually you can actually see where it printed so I'm gonna foil it and see what happens I may be using this for my plan with me this week if this works out okay so I've already run it through the laminator I've never used white foil before so I don't know how this is gonna turn out I did put some just plain copy paper over it to um, protect my laminator okay let's see if I can hold this down and pull It comes out kind of nice. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's for me, so it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess this is how I'll be planning Oops. this week or maybe next week. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to try it with some actual metallic foil, too. It even picked up the trim mark. The other trim marks didn't um print because this this printer that i'm using is a really old laser printer and it doesn't print all the way to the edge so i'll have to guesstimate where to trim at but yeah it even picked up the trim marks so cool got something new to play with